everybody has to play with the officials on the field, just like you have to play with the wind blowing and the rain falling and the sun shining. So we're, we already know before this game kicks off that we're going to have to deal with some difficulties in this football game. So we, we have a delay a game penalty against the Zebras. The normal kickoff line is the 35. The 35, you're right. So it's going to be a five-yard penalty. So we're going to kick from the 40. Valley is going to basically kick into the wind. Yeah. And so the first now, penalty. Now he's, now he's going to yeah. mark it off. Well, I thought it was the 40 because there's the X. Okay. So now you're we're going right. to kick. Yeah. So, so Valley's going to kick from their 45-yard line, right. which will push our return team of uh, Tyler Johnson and Corbin Wood back to inside the 10. Yep. But both of those, Johnson and Wood, the capability of of returning a kick at any time, and it doesn't matter where they catch the football. Jose Riviera will kick for the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. The big 6'2", 290-pound junior for the Vikings. And here we go, low line drive kick. Takes a hop, and Lease. looks like Lease, Matt Lease picks it up at the 20, goes ahead to the 30. And that's where the Rochester Zebras will start this drive. Not too bad. You know, Valley yeah. could have really put a pressure on the Rochester Zebras there with a good kick. It was a low-line drive. Yeah. Uh, Matt Lease, the up man, was ready for his uh, the hands to get ready to, to pick that one up and go, and he returned it to the 30 after a 10-yard gain. So Rochester first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Ball in the far hash, and here comes Brady Perez, the uh, junior quarterback for the Rochester Zebras. Rochester is going to have to take a deep breath in this huddle and collect themselves both mentally and physically. You know, Valley on defense to start the game. They're going to be fired up. They're going to let those emotions go. Taylor Johnson, the right wing back. Corbin Wood, the left wing back. Bryce Abbott, your fullback. Perez under center. And there was going to false start on the uh, Zebras. I believe the center jumped for Rochester. That's going to back him up five. So that's two penalties uh, worth 10 yards before the yeah. basically the clock even starts. All right. So your uh, right tight end is Wilson Dalton. The left tight end is Jerry Plummer. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. First and 15 now for the Zebras, back at their 25-yard line. You'd think here the Zebras are on the road. <laughs> so Brady Perez under center. Sets the group with 15 on the play clock, takes the snap. Gives off to Abbott, I believe, and Abbott gets back to the line of scrimmage. The original line, it's going to be second down and 10 after a five-yard, make that second down and 11 after a four-yard gain for Bryce Abbott and the Rochester Zebras. Ball at the 29-yard line. Isaiah Jackson brings the... <laughs> Is that an omen? <laughs> I hope not, as the buzzards fly overhead. we got Death Valley football on the, on the fence across the way and buzzards flying overhead. <laughs> Isaiah Jackson will take his spot at the right wing back. Corbin Wood also back there and Bryce Abbott. Second down and 11 for the Zebras with nine on the play clock. Brady Perez under center with seven. Wood comes in motion to the near side. He gets a pitch coming to the near side. He's got blockers in front. Slips one tackler up the near sideline and takes it across the 35 to the 36-yard line, which will bring up about third down and five for the Rochester Zebras. Corbin Wood not about a yard away from uh, breaking into clear green grass. Bryce Abbott out in front trying to throw a block. Beg your pardon, give it third and four. Ball spotted at the Rochester 36-yard line on the near hash, which is the Rochester sideline. Johnson, Abbott, and Wood left to right in the backfield behind Brady Perez on third and four. Rochester going with the win. Johnson going to the motion left. He gets the carry. Cuts it right up out the middle. Johnson lowers his head and falls ahead to the Rochester 44-yard line. First and ten for the Zebras. Nice job by uh, Tyler Johnson again taking that pitch and coming right back up the middle of the field, and he had a big hole yeah, at that he line did. of scrimmage. Great job by the middle of Rochester's offensive line, Zane Graham and uh, Zach Graham and Zane Gilbreth doing a good job of opening that hole. First and 10 for the Zebras at their own 44. Ball in the near hash, which is the Rochester sideline. Rochester breaks the huddle with 18 on the play clock. Jackson in the right tailback position again. The wing back, I should say. Now Brady Perez under center with nine. John Wood comes in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch, grabs Ooh. it at his ankles, goes up the field, and maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. Good uh, job by Corbin Wood, which that would have been disastrous. He reaches down below his knee, traps the pitched ball between his knee and his leg, and was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and ten. He was still holding that ball on against his calf, I think, when Valley made contact with him. Whew. He was able to get a, a hold of it with his hand and spin away, but... Like you said, just lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 for the Zebras, just shy of their own 45-yard line. Now ball in the middle of the field with 14 on the play clock. 
Johnson goes in motion left. He gets the pitch with blockers in front. Looking for the edge. Turns the corner, and Valley grabs him from behind and brings him down to the line of scrimmage. Maybe one. It'll be third down to nine for the Z's of their own 45. All right, now in the last uh, couple, two or three plays, Tippecanoe New Valley's defensive line really flexing their muscle. We saw Rochester open up a huge hole in third down last time to give Johnson an opportunity to get that first down yeah. carry. Uh, right now on this on, on this. Uh, set of downs. Tippecanoe New Valley is winning the war up front. Third and nine for the Zebras of their own 45. Brady Perez under center, ball in the far hash. Again, Rochester going with the wind right now. Back to pass is Perez. Rolls on the near side. Here comes some pressure. Stops. Let's go. And it's going to be picked off. Picked off by Miller of the Tippecanoe New Valley Vikings. He's brought down by Wilson Dalton. And the Vikings will take over at their own 42-yard line. First and 10 after the uh, interception by Miller. And Miller saw that coming all the way as Perez was staring down his receiver Jackson and uh, Miller running in front of the of the offensive uh, receiver. When you run to the near side, that yeah. shortens the field. Yes, absolutely. First and 10 for the Vikings at their own 42. Ball in the near hash, which is the Rochester sideline. Tanner Tropedi, a 5'8 sophomore, brings the club to the line of scrimmage. He'll send three, uh, two receivers wide to the right side. Tropedi in the pistol, pistol formation. Trapiti takes a snap on the option. He'll run it himself. He runs away from the defense. Still running to the far sideline. Cuts it up the Valley sideline. And it's cut down right around the 45-yard line. They're going to give him the 46. Pickup of about four. It'll be second down and six on a designed quarterback run from this word go. Yeah, he had uh, Rochester defender chasing him the entire way as Zach Graham was uh, chasing him. But he never could catch up with the, with the speedy Trapiti. So the Vikings in the huddle. They have second down and six from their own 46-yard line. Trapiti in the pistol. To his left is Melanson. Four receivers, two to the near, two to the far. On second and four, here's the snap. He's going to pass. Trapiti looks to the near side. It is complete out here to the near side to Randall. And we got and a tackle Randall by the head. Is run out of bounds at the Rochester 45, and I believe there's going to be a face mask on top of that. Well. He wrapped him around the uh, the helmet and pulled him down head first. So either way, it's going to be a penalty. First down for the Vikings. And after the penalty, going to walk the ball inside the Rochester. 45-yard line to the 41, a five-yard variety. First and 10 for the Vikings at the Rochester 41. Ball on the left hash. Going into the sun. That is setting quickly. 8.25 to play in the first quarter. No score here at Tippecanoe New Valley. The Vikings first and 10 to the Rochester 41. Torpedi in the pistol formation. Ibacks behind him. Here's a snap. Gives off to the running back going to the right side. Another flag all the way from the back judge. He threw that thing about 30 yards. Towards. Alex, I'm sorry, Alex Morrison ran a long way for no yards. And like Brad said, there is a penalty on the field. Who's that going to be against? That was the back judge behind Rochester, and he threw that thing a good 35 yards trying to get it to the point of the it's penalty. Going to be a block in the back against the Vikings. So that'll back up Tippecanoe Valley. From the 42, back to the 48. So this should bring up, what, first down and about uh, 21. First and 21, back at the Valley, 48, ball in the far hash. 8.02 to play in the first quarter, no score. The Vikings have it after the penalty on their own 48. Miller comes wide to the near side, as does Potter. In the pistol formation is Trapiti, and oh, Valley yeah. jumps off sides. Yeah. So that's going to be a false start on the Vikings. that will bring up first and 26. And we talked about the penalties that hurt you. Rochester's penalties weren't too necessarily damaging, but these last two penalties on Tippecanoe Valley yeah. has been really costly. Now the ball is inside the Valley, uh, 45, back to the 43. First and 26 for the Vikings, back at their own 43-yard line. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 7.40 to play in the first quarter. No score here at Barnhart Field. Trapiti brings the club to the line of scrimmage with 10 on the play clock. He's going to be under center now. The eye backs behind him. Melanson, I believe, dots the eye. 
Trapedi under center, fakes the pitch, rolls back to pass, throws to the near side. It is going to be incomplete over the intended receiver's head. That's tight end Jalen Shepard, a 6'3", a junior for the Vikings. And now we're going to have a flag in the play. Late flag against Tippecanoe Valley. And, it's, and right now, Brady Perez, who is in coverage, is clapping. And Shepard is pleading his case, so that's going to be a 15-yard and sportsmanlike. It's going to back him up 15 yards further back. Yep. Something got said. The official standing about five feet away from him. So it's going to be first still. Let's see, 15 plus 26. Is that about 41? <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah. Ball so now ball back at the 28-yard line after the 15-yard unsportsmanlike on the Vikings. So It'll bring up fourth down at about 41. The penalties have cost them more yardage than what they gained in the previous uh, four plays. I don't know if I've ever seen first down at 41. <laughs> Still first. No, you're right. The second down at 41 because that happened after the play. Yep. Yeah. So second down and 41 for the Vikings. And they'll send th four receivers out, two to the right, two to the left. Out of the shotgun is Trapiti. Melanson to his left. Trapiti takes a snap, rolls to the near side. Here comes some pressure, and it's tipped to the line of scrimmage, and it's incomplete. It'll be third and 41. Great job on the Rochester defense. They were trying to run a screen, Tippecanoe Valley was. Rochester's defense, uh, with their hands up, was able to tip the ball away from Trapiti. Trapedi's only 5'10", and when he's trying to throw over a 6'3", Sutton, that didn't work out so well. So it'll be third down in a mile. I'm saying 41, 7'18 to play in the first quarter. The Vikings look at uh, third down and 41 back at their own 28-yard line. Trapedi in the shotgun formation. Melanson to his left. Three receivers on the near side. Trapedi rolls on the near side. Here comes some pressure. Steps it up. Throws. It is complete to Miller. And Miller runs out of bounds at his own 42-yard line. 12-yard gain, but not enough to even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, 12 yards brings up, uh, what, fourth down at about 29. And the Vikings will punt the ball away. Corbin Wood will go back deep. 7-11 to play in the first quarter. And the Vikings will kick Corbin from Wood about their 30. Yep, Back for Rochester inside uh, about the 25-yard line. Here comes some pressure. The kick just does get away. And the wind holds it up a little bit. Wood takes it on the run. Up the tipping the Valley sideline. Cuts it back inside. And that's about it. And then he drops the football. And we got a flag. And we got a flag. The Vikings pick it up, and they're going to whistle it dead before the ball comes out. What in the world is going on? So Corbin Wood returns it to his 43-yard uh, line. On the play, there is going to be a block in the back, whistled against the Zebras. So we're going to back it up 10 yards and start at about the uh, 40, uh, make that the 30 33-yard yeah. line. Rochester's already they all got know. It's going to be further back than that. 25 yards worth of penalties for Rochester already. Inside to the 30 at about, what is that, 28? Yeah. First and 10 for the Zebras. Rochester really thought they could get that block. They were sending everybody to the, oh, yeah. everybody to the kitchen sink. First and 10 for the Zebras at their own 28. Just under seven minutes to play in the first quarter. And it has been a flag fest. I just got a text. <laughs> We've had eight flags already. Yeah. Like I said, Rochester's already had 25 yards worth of penalties. Eight minutes into the game. Yep. Now yep. we're going to reset the play clock. Valley's had 40 yards worth of penalties already. So first and 10 for the Z's at their own 28. Ball in the far hash, which is the typical New Valley sideline. Brady Perez ready. The officials now give the green light. Here we go. Johnson, Wood, and Abbott in the backfield. Wood comes in motion to the near side. Gives the uh, pitch to Corbin Wood, does Brady Perez. Not a lot there. Uh, the mark on the far side is maybe a yard. Coach Schreiber on that far sideline trying to get the fans into it. Give, uh, give Corbin Wood a yard. It'll be second down to nine. Rochester still has not yet attempted anything on the corners. 
Isaiah Jackson brings a play in from the sideline. Six and a half minutes to play first quarter. No score here at Barnhart Field. Battle for the Bell, 2017. Brady Perez under center with 10 on the play clock. On second down and nine, Jackson goes in motion left. He gets the pitch going left. It slips down in the backfield, and he's going to lose yardage. Ugh. Lose, what, two maybe? It'll be third and 11 now for the Zebras. Six minutes to play in the first quarter. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Third and 11 now for the Rochester Zebras. Ball back in their 27. Johnson, Wood, and Abbott in the backfield. Plummer, Walt Dalton in your tight ends. Fakes the pitch going left. Throws it left. It is complete to Wilson Dalton. Dalton down the Valley sideline. Down the Valley at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Zebras. Wilson Dalton walks into the end zone. The Zebras strike first. Great job by Wilson Dalton. He breaks free across the middle. Brady Perez throws that football off his back foot as he's being tackled. And uh, great throw by Perez. Gets it to Dalton. Hits him mid-stride. And Dalton goes untouched all the way to the end zone. 73-yard touchdown pass from Brady Perez to Wilson Dalton. And the Zebras are on the board first. And the Zebras with the big play. Tippecanoe Valley has been plagued by the big plays all year. And Rochester gets one. So Zane Duff on to kick. Drew Saylor's the holder. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. And it is good. 7-0 Rochester. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. And it pushes the uh, pile ahead to about the 35-yard line. The return man there for the uh, Tipping New Valley Vikings was Jalen Potter. And uh, he returns it. About 15 yards, and that's where the Vikings will start this drive at their own 35 on the near hash. Yeah, the Vikings had 30 yards worth of penalties on their last possession, was completely wiped out. Uh, three or four really good plays that they had. They started to move the ball on that possession and was starting to get things rolling, and boom, the penalties really backed them up. Yeah, first and 10 for the Vikings. Trapiti in the backfield, he'll be in the pistol formation with uh, Melanson to his right. He'll send three receivers to the right side, which is the wide side of the field. Torpedi ready on first and 10 from his 35. Here's the pitch. Rolls to the right side. He's going to throw. Get, Valley gets away with the hold. He throws it up, and it is complete out there on the far side. A great job by Alex Morrison, who kept his eye on the ball as the ball had to skin the finger of Isaiah Jackson on that far side, and he brought it in for a big first down reception to take it out to midfield. But in the meantime... Uh, Rochester's Tyler Walker was held in the backfield and no call. As many flags as these cats have thrown already tonight, they missed one there. A couple go, haven't they? First and 10 for the Vikings at midfield. Ball in the far hash. The Tipping New Valley sideline. Good nice touch by the sophomore yeah. Trapedi. And a good catch by Morrison. He caught that two hands above his head, and he just held it there as he hit the ground on his back. So good High backs formation for Trapedi. Here's the snap on the option. He'll take it. Now flips it out to Morrison. Morrison's hit right at the line of scrimmage by Wilson Dalton, by Corbin Wood, and by Graham. Zach Graham, it's going to be second down and 10 after no gain. Little option there by the Vikings. Yeah. Rochester's defense has done pretty well against the run. It's, that, uh, it's the pass in the flats that's have caused them trouble. Under four and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Rochester leads 7 to nothing. The Vikings second and 10 at midfield. Randall comes wide to the near side. Pistol formation, power left for the Vikings. High snap. Oh, a little bobble on the exchange. The handoff goes to Morrison, who crosses into Rochester territory to the 48. He's going to pick up about uh, two or three yards. It'll be third down and about eight for the uh, Tipping New Valley Vikings. Now at the Rochester 48. Dalton on the stop for Rochester. High snap for Petey. All five, ten of him reached up <laughs> above his helmet to grab that one and and that just about threw off the timing. Yeah, it did. Uh, I don't remember who the, who was the ball carrier. Morrison. Morrison, yep. yeah. Yeah, he did a good job just getting his hands on the football and, and trying to keep a hold of it. Trips to the near side, the short side of the field for Tipping New Valley. Out of the shotgun formation is Trapedi. Rolls to the right. He's going to throw. Here comes some pressure. He's still looking to throw. Throws it down the middle of the field. It's complete to the tight end. 
Shepard, Shepard did a great job holding on to that ball as he was hit hard by Brady Perez. That's going to be a first down for the Vikings. Yeah, Shepard did do a good job. He, he was hit just as he caught the football, and he had both hands clamped on it pretty good. First and 10 for the Vikings at the Rochester 33-yard line. 3.15 to play in the first quarter. Again, the Zebras are up 7 to nothing. Shepard will go to the right side, tight right. Randall will be split left. Ibacks for Trapedi. Morrison is your tail. First and 10 on the option. Gives to the fullback, and I believe that's Melanson off the right side. And Melanson gets to the, about the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of three and a second down and seven for the Vikings. Winnemac leads West Central with two minutes to play in the first quarter, 15 to nothing. Culver leads Caston, 7 to nothing. 95-yard interception return. Uh, a pick six for Culver, and they're up 6, six nothing. 7 7 Second down and seven for the Vikings. At the Rochester 30-yard line, out of the pistol is Trapiti. Takes a snap on the option. He runs to the left side. He's, keep He's a quarterback it. keeper looking to cut it back inside, and Rochester's going to bring him down to the 35. Corbin Wood and Matt Lease there on the stop for Rochester. Wood really stopped Trapiti in his tracks. Ooh. Loses another yard at the 36. It's going to be third down and about 13 now for the Vikings back at the Rochester 36-yard line near Hash. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Uh -huh. Rochester up 7 to nothing. Third and 13 for the Vikings, who are still in the huddle. They break the huddle with 15 on the play clock. We'll send Randall and Morrison wide to the right side. Gaff also wide to the right. Out of the pistol is Trapiti. Trapiti rolls to the right, throws it to the far sideline. It is complete to Randall. It's not going to be a first down, but it is going to be fourth down and about three on that Tippecanoe Valley sideline as he takes it out to about the 26-yard line. That's where all of Tippecanoe Valley's success has come so far in this football game is throwing the ball to the flats. Fourth down and four for the Vikings. Ball spotted at the 27 of the Rochester Zebras. And the Vikings will go for it. Fourth and four for Tippecanoe Valley. Eye backs for Trapiti. Another little rollout pass to this Maybe. right side of the field. Morrison is your tailback. Trapiti under center with seven on the play clock. Looking to draw Rochester off sides, and he's going to take a timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to High School Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. He's been really accurate, and his receivers have been really good at catching the football. He's got four receivers. Trapiti on fourth and four. Looking to throw it. He's hit as he throws. It is complete. It's going to be a first down. And it's down. going to be a first down after a six-yard pitch and catch to Gaff. And Gaff takes it to the Rochester 21-yard line. First and 10. How about that? The young man, Trapiti, steps, uh, stays in there and knowing he was going to get hit as he threw, he did so and completed it perfectly to Gaff. Yeah, and again, you know, Gaff making a very good catch in traffic amongst uh, the defense. So Into the first quarter, typically, or the uh, Southwood Knights lead Peru 7 to nothing. First and 10 for the Vikings. Morrison dots the eye. He gets the pitch going right. Morrison hit at the line of scrimmage. And as momentum carries him forward inside uh, the 20, maybe to the 19. So a pickup of two, it'll be second down and eight with a minute to play in the first quarter. Second and eight for the Vikings of the Rochester 19. And Roche or, yeah, Rochester's defense has been out on the field for most of this first quarter. Valley's offense has done a pretty good job at chewing up the clock. Yep. And if you want to keep Rochester out of the end zone, you keep their defense on yep, the field. That's right. And that's exactly what they've done. Rochester uh, defensively looking at second and nine. The Vikings break the huddle with nine on the play clock. Torpedi will be out of the pistol. Melanson to his right. Behind him is Morris. Morrison. Pass over the middle. It is thrown behind Shepard, the tight end. Incomplete. He again, Brad, was wide open. He was, and that's the first incomplete pass from Torpedi in his last six. He's uh, now he is uh, six of nine. Third and eight for the Vikings at the Rochester 19-yard line. Clock is stopped with 28.8 to play in the first quarter. The Vikings in the red zone. They break the huddle with 17 on the play clock. They'll yeah. send Randall wide to the right side. They'll send Shepard and Gaff wide to the near side. you got to know third and long. They're going to be looking the, for yep. those, that tall receiver here on the left side. Morrison comes in motion to the near side. Rolls on the near side. Does a P. Rolls away from Dalton. Now tucks and runs. He's got a first down, I believe, as he's up the near sideline looking for the end zone. Tiptoes the sideline, but runs out of the end zone, or runs out of, uh, out of bounds. 
but not until he gets inside the Rochester. Five to the four. First and goal for the Vikings at the four. Brady Perez with the hit that knocked him out of bounds at the four-yard line. He slips the grip of Wilson Dalton in the backfield and then takes it upfield to the four-yard line, picking up 15 in the progress. Yeah. So, again, good job on Tippecanoe Valley. It was blocked well. Trapiti looked deep, and then when he saw the defense, when he saw all the backs of the defense, he just tucked it and took off. 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. The Vikings first and goal from the Rochester four. Morrison dots the eye be behind the fullback. Morrison gets the pitch going to the right. He's got some blockers. Stops, cuts back to the middle, now goes back to the right, looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Alex Morrison carries it in from four yards, and it's 7-6. to six. Well, good job by Morrison. He was patient. He looked like at first he was going to run for the uh, corner flag, but when uh, the defense got out in front of him, he was able to hold up enough to let his blockers clear a path, and he just put his head down and bowled through the last three yards. The extra point coming for Tippecanoe New Valley. Snap is back, hold is down, and the kicker just does get it away, and it is good. We're tied at 7 at, Tippe at uh, Rochester High School. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. They slide up to the 20-yard line. Low end over end kick. Johnson picks it up at the 10-yard line. Johnson to the 20, the 25, the 30. Up the middle at the 35. And is brought down at about the 36-yard line with seven seconds to play in the first quarter. Another good return by Johnson. He was just about just one block away from uh, finding an open seam to break through that line of Tippecanoe Valley. First and ten for the Zebras at their own 36. We're tied at seven as the first quarter coming to an end. I have one play before we end it here, unless we have a defensive penalty. Wood Johnson and Abbott in the backfield. Dalton, you're tied into the right. Plummer tied into the left. And now Wood goes wide to the left side, as does Johnson wide to the near side. Brady Perez under center. Johnson goes in motion to the left. Bryce Abbott gets the carry and carries it about to about the 38, pick up a two, and that'll do it for the first quarter. After one, we're tied at seven at Rochester High School. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Going to the second quarter, we're tied at seven. Rochester on that last play of the first quarter. Uh, Bryce Abbott picked up two yards, so we're going to start here. Second down and eight for the Rochester Zebras at their own 38-yard line. Ball in the far hash, which is now the Rochester, I'm sorry, the Tippecanoe Valley sideline. That was a play we hadn't seen all year. We had two wides, and they both blocked down, and Abbott tried to get outside. Couldn't. Nope. For, uh, second and eight for Brady Perez. Wood goes in motion right. Brady Perez, the keeper, at the 45. Slits a tackle at the 40, I should say, at the 45. Falls across the 45 near the 47, and that's going to be close to a zebra first down. He got to the 46. They're going to have to measure that. They are not going to give the zebra. How do you eye that? That is close. Wow. They're going to call it half a yard short. The nose of the football is not on the 46. It's going to be third and literally an inch for the Rochester Zebras. Brady Perez under center. Johnson, Abbott, Wood in the backfield. Brady Perez sends Johnson motion to the near side. Gives to Corbin Wood. Wood falls ahead. Might have gotten to the first down on second effort. That's going to be really close to the Zebra first down. And there it is. Corbin Wood just got enough. I'm not sure he got a yard, but he just got enough for a first down. Well, it's going to go as a yard in the book. <laughs> it's got to, right? <laughs> yep. First and 10 for the Zs at the 46-yard line, their own 46. 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. We're tied at 7 here at Rochester High School. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. The week that was coming up at halftime. Also, Rochester New Girls uh, head coach Lisa Fluger coming up at the break. That ought to be a good interview. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Her first time. Yep. Talking with you. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. going to be the hot seat. <laughs> First and 10, Jackson comes in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch. A nice kick out blocked by Bryce Abbott. Jackson takes the ball to the 49. He'll pick up of about three. It'll be second down and seven for the Zebras. Good kick out blocked there by Bryce Abbott. That freed Jackson for another couple of yards. Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. 11 minutes to play in the first half. Rochester still on their side of the 50th at the 49-yard line. Rochester's offense really needs to put a 
pretty good long drive together here, not only for their own confidence, but to give their defense yeah, a yeah. break. Yeah, I agree. Second and seven, nope. ball loose, picked up, given to Bra uh, Bryce Abbott. <laughs> and Bryce, I'm not sure how the Zebras made uh, yards out of that. but That's like the old Statue of Liberty play. You just leave the, lay, leave the ball yeah, on the ground. That's exactly what happened. I think Jeez. it came out of the hands of Brady Perez, fell straight down and stopped. Brady Perez picked, picked it up, gave it to Abbott, and Abbott picked up about five yards, which brings up now third and about three. Saw a lot too much of that last week. Oh, boy. We've seen it a couple of times already tonight. We did it so it much last week, it was us. bouncing off of Northfield players and back into our hands. Right. Third and three for the Zebras at the Tippecanoe Valley 47. Wood goes in motion to the right side. The pitch goes to Abbott. Bryce looking for the edge, cuts it back inside. He's got a first down and, and a flag in the play. Uh, flag at the end of the play. Bryce Abbott had enough for a Zebra first down, and we're going to have a hold on the Rochester Zebras. So that was right at the line to gain, so that's going to bring up third down at about 10. That's going to back him up from there. Third and 10 now for Rochester, back of the room, 46. 9.52 to play in the first half. Again, we're tied at seven. Taylor Johnson brings a play in from the sideline. Brady Perez is one of two. For a touchdown, he's got an interception and a 73-yard touchdown pass. I would imagine you'll see that here. Yep. Hopefully 12 on the play clock. Hopefully it's the latter, not the former. <laughs> Wood comes in motion to the near side. He's a wide out now to the near side. Back to pass to Brady Price. Here comes some pressure. Brady steps up, middle of the field. Wilson Dalton off his fingertips, incomplete. Let him just a little bit too much, but he was under pressure. Perez again and able to get that off just as he's getting tackled. I think uh, Wilson Dalton had a little uh, space. Yeah, Wilson, uh, but he had about a step on the defender, but he needed about three to catch that football. Yeah, it, it had been a perfect throw to yeah. uh, complete that. So uh, on comes the punting unit. Brady Perez will slide inside his 35-yard line to kick this one away. Miller back deep for the Vikings. He slides in uh, about out, uh, inside his 25 to about the 20-yard line. Snap goes to Brady Perez, no pressure. Gets it away. Wow. Great punt. Nice kick into the wind. Miller drives back, rising back inside the 10. And he's going to be brought down to the 5. Great, Great job, job by Wilson yes. Dalton. And a solo tackle at the 5 yard line. Dalton with his head up, watching the football come down and made a great one on one tackle against Miller. And a fantastic punt by Brady Perez. A 45 yard punt. They're going to say inside the 10. I beg your pardon, at the 9. Still, fantastic effort for Wilson Dalton. First and ten for the Vikings at their own nine. Now see if the Rochester defense can hold tough down here and win the game of field position. They've, they've done well against the run. It's those little passes out into the corner of the, on the uh, sidelines that have really hurt them. 9.20 to play in the first half. Torpedo will be under center. I backs behind him. From his own nine. Torpedo right up the middle. And, and he is hit them. hard by Sutton and others. Might have gotten to the ten. Give him a yard, it'll be second and nine. Gilbreth and Sutton on the stop for Rochester. Nobody was fooled on that one. Second down and nine for the Vikings. Under nine minutes to play in the first half. Ball spotted at about the 10-yard line. Boy. Volley taking a lot of time here. They just do now break the huddle with 10 on the play clock. They're going to have to hurry. Torpedi ready. Sends twins to the near side. We're down to three, down to two, down to one. Just gets it off. Gives to Morrison, I believe. Parker, Parker that is. And Parker takes it to about the 19-yard line. That's going to be close to a first down. It was Cam Parker. Picks up eight. It'll be second and one. I make that third and one for the Vikings. With 8.15 to play. Nope, 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 nope. Give him nine. It'll be enough for a first down. Holy cow. That was close to the line to gain, and that cat just looks across the way and said, yep, first down, no measurement. First and 10 for the Vikings at the 19. Trapedi to Parker again off the left side. Parker carries it across the 20, near the 22. Pick up a three, it'll be second down and seven. 
Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. We're tied at 7 with 7.45 to play in the first half here at Rochester High School. Valley will send two receivers on the near side, two to the far side. Ball in the middle of the field out of the pistol formation is Trapiti with Parker to his uh, right. Here's a snap. Trapiti rolls on the near side, looking to throw. Here's picked off by Jackson. Jackson then returns it to the 24. It was like Jackson was the intended receiver. Shepard yeah. was the receiver. Threw it right to him. But Jackson had a great position and put it right on the seven, did Trapiti. Nice job by Jackson. He had inside position, and when the receiver turned, so did he, and the ball was right there in his hands. First and 10 for the Zebras at the 25-yard uh, line of the Vikings. This is a big turnover for Rochester if they can capitalize on this. 7-19 to play in the first half. We're tied at 7. Ball in the near hash, which is the Rochester sideline. Wood, Abbott, and Johnson in the backfield. Now Wood goes wide left. Johnson goes wide right. Brady Perez under center. Abbott's alone back. Brady under center. Gives to Abbott right up the middle. Bryce Abbott barrels ahead across the 20, down to the 19-yard line. A six-yard run for Bryce Abbott will bring up second down and four. Once he starts running downhill, oh, he is really hard to tackle. He is a tough load, is Abbott. And when you're, when you're, uh, where is that? When you're talking uh, 5'11", 229 pounds. Yeah. Second and four for the Zebras. Two wide out, one to each side. Perez under center. Brady to Abbott again off the right side. Bryce Abbott stood up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard, maybe. Yeah, typically uh, they got a hold. They got a hold of that one leg and. That was all the farther he was going to go. It'll be third and four after no yards, after nothing on the pickup. Ball spotted at the 19-yard line. Melanson with a tackle. Clock rolls, 6.20 to play in the first half. Oh, hey, we're throwing zebra cakes. Oh, cool. I thought they were sunglasses or something. I wonder if they can Are you them. hungry? Yeah, bring them right, <laughs> right in the window. Right in the window. Third and four for the zebras at the 19 of the Vikings. Wood goes in motion right. He gets the pitch. And nothing there's there. nothing there. Vikings won the war at the line of scrimmage. It might have put him backward a yard. We're going to see bring Zane. Up, it, you should. We should see Zane Duff come in here. Fourth down and five now. Ball back at the 20-yard line. That's a play Rochester's this, been running all year. They pitch it outside and then turn right into the middle of the line. And this would be a 37-yarder from here for Zane Duff, and Coach Hooker will use a timeout. 5.40 to play in the first half. We're tied at 7. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Out of the field where Perez has the option to either throw it or run. So, Wood comes wide to the left side. On fourth down and five, Brady Perez under center. Snaps the ball, back to pass. Looks to the near side, has the near side. is complete to Wood. Corbin Wood at the 15 and is drugged down right there. That's going to be really close to a first down. I think if he catches and just turns it upfield, he's got a first down. But he, he takes yeah. a step backwards and then it goes forward. Rochester's saying first down. The Vikings are saying first down, but the other way. And without a measurement, are you kidding me? Without a measurement, they call it a first down. That is way too close to call. I agree. But they haven't called a measurement yet in this ball game. I agree with you, too, on the assessment. If Corbin Wood just dives forward, that's a no-brainer first down. Yeah. If he tried to take a step back and split the defense, and then the defense spun him around backwards, First and 10 for the Z's at the 15-yard line of the Vikings. 5.15 to play in the first half. Jackson comes in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch going left. He's got some blockers. He cuts it back inside a blocker. And spins move down the near sideline. And he backs his way close to the 10. Nice run by Isaiah Jackson, but great blocking in front of him. Takes the ball to the, I beg your pardon, to the 5-yard line. And that's going to be close to another Zebra first down. And a good job of hanging on to the football because he really took a shot yeah, right did. there at the end of that play. Give him nine. It'll be second and one from the five-and-a-half-yard line. 4.40 to play in the first half. We're tied at seven here at Rochester High School. The Zebras break the huddle with 15 on the play clock. Johnson, Abbott, and Wood in the backfield. Plummer tight left. Wilson, Dalton tight right. Brady Perez in her center with seven. Here's a snap. Bryce Abbott over the left side, pushing his way to the goal line. And I believe he's going to be stacked up just shy of the uh, end zone. And it's going to be a four-yard gain. It'll be first and goal from about the one. Clock rolls, 4.15 to play in the first half. 
Zebras are knocking on the door again. Isaiah Jackson brings a play in from the sideline. First and goal for the Zs from about the one. Runner four to play in the first half, tied at seven. I wouldn't even give this to anybody. If yeah. I was 11, I'd just keep it and <laughs> right. follow center right in the end zone. You're right. Yeah. Brady Perez takes a snap, gives to Bryce Abbott over There's the left side. Down. Abbott touchdown. And there's no question about that. Bryce Abbott was in the end zone before I think he, anybody even made contact with him. And the Zebras capitalize on the interception and uh, put another seven on the board. And, boy, the biggest play out of that 25-yard drive was a six-yard pass play on fourth down. Yeah, that's right. Following the interception. You're right. That set this whole thing up. Following the punt. So the extra point coming from Duff. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. Duff bounces it off the school, and it is good. 14-7 Zebras. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Perez and the open field tackle by Dalton sets up bad field position, and the Zebras get the interception in, good, in, in a good spot. Duff, a short kick, taken at the 20-yard line. Still on his feet. And the ball returned out to and about the 29, flag. and a flag and a play. Woo, shocker. So we'll wait to see who the flag's going to be against. I believe that was Potter again on the reception. The officials talking amongst themselves, not to either team. We're going to have a personal, personal foul, foul, face mask on the Zebras. Ugh. So that'll help the situation here for the Vikings. Rochester up 14-7 with 3.45 to play in the first half. And after the penalty, the Vikings will start at their own 43-yard line going to our right. That's the sixth penalty on Rochester for 50 yards. So, now so out of the it. shotgun is the, uh, the Vikings. Back to pass is Trapiti. Has a lot of time down the near sideline. He's got a receiver. It is incomplete. Shepard, uh, the intended receiver, wristed on the cover. Wriston almost looked like he went into receiver mode as that ball was overthrown to the receiver, and Wriston was the deepest man. He did a great job just kind of slowing yeah. up and not letting. Yeah, he kind of played interference just, uh, like you said, slowed up and ran in front of the receiver. Second down and 10 for the Vikings at their own 43-yard line. 3.40 to play in the first half. Rochester up 14-7. to seven. Trapiti gets the play, relays it to the club in the, in the uh, huddle, and breaks the huddle with eight. They're going to have to hurry. Trapiti under center with one. Gets the playoff. Pitches out to Gaff. Gaff picks his way through the traffic. Maybe to the 45. Corbin Wood on the tackle for Rochester. Give him the 44. It'll be a pickup of one. It'll be third and nine. 325 to play in the first half. Again, Rochester leading right now is 14 to 7. Trapiti throws a really nice ball. Yeah, tight little spiral and pretty accurate. And and one at one stretch, he had six in a row completions, yeah. but he's 0 for 3 on his last three attempts. Where's Shepard? Shepard has been his uh, uh, intended receiver most of the night. He's tight left. Out of the shotgun formation is Trapiti on third and nine. Trapiti, low snap, grabs it. Look to throw. Throws to the near side. It is complete to Gaff. And Jackson brings him down to the 45. Uh, give him a pickup of one. It'll be fourth down and eight. Nice job by Jackson. He just sat and waited for Gaff to make the catch. Fourth and eight for the Vikings at their own 45-yard line. And Coach Moriarty will send the punting unit on with two and a half minutes to play in the first half. The Zebra's up 14-7. to seven. Nice job by the Rochester defense. Punting in, with the wind is Morrison. Back deep is Johnson and Wood. Morrison stands at his 35-yard line. Wood has got a lot of open ground to his right. Here comes the pressure. Morrison had, I believe, off the side of his foot. Maybe Rochester got a little uh, piece of it. And we're going to have a flag in the play for illegal substitution. Or roughing the kicker. I don't know where the flag is. The flag's right here. Oh, right on the sideline. Yeah. As Jerry Plummer came in late to make the 11th play, or the 11th player. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. It was against Rochester. 
but will that be an automatic first down? What in the world? I don't know what we're doing. But they're going to give the Vikings the football. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Z Rochester keeps possession. Oh, okay. My oh, fault. Okay. Randall says, okay, very good. Side that makes warning. sense. So a a sideline warning line. on the Rochester Zebras. Good. Okay, so Rochester takes over after the punt uh, at their own 32-yard line near hash. Have two timeouts with 2.13 to play in the first half. Wood goes wide to the near side. Johnson split right, which is the wide side of the field. Abbott to lone back. Brady Perez under center. Back to pass. Three-step drop. Throws down the near sideline. He's got Corbin Wood. He rises up off his fingertips. Incomplete. That ball really floated on Perez. It didn't have any zip to it at all. It just kind of hung up there in the wind. Cor and, yeah, he had uh, defenders Corbin, behind him. Yeah, Corbin, Corbin kind of misjudged. He thought the ball, I think, had a little more zip to it. And, and uh, it, just never, it just never got there. So second down and 10 for Rochester. Clock is stopped with 2.07 to play in the first half. Don't forget Coach Fluger, Lisa Fluger, girls head coach, coming up at halftime to talk a little basketball and the fundraising golf tournament coming up for Rochester's uh, both girls and guys. That's at halftime, also the week that was. Second and 10. Jackson motion to the near side, gets the pitch. Then hands off to Wood. Wood loses the football, then gets it back, and he's going to lose yards back to the 29-yard line. They're lucky that's all they lost because yeah. there was a block in the back by Rochester that didn't uh, get called. The bike, And then yeah, we're going to have a flag in the late, play. Late flag. Is that going to – did Isaiah did Jackson, Jackson say, say something? Because well, he walked right by the official. About that time, the official threw, threw the, the flag, flag, and then the official looked back at seven. So Rochester loses yardage on the play back to the 29-yard line. So they lose about four yards. So now they're looking at fourth down and about 14, and then we have a penalty. And Rochester's offense already backing up towards their goal line. Unsportsmanlike on the Rochester Zebras. So another 15-yard penalty on Rochester. What And one on Valley as well? What? Whoa. Oh, they call they're have all setting penalties. Oh. One against Rochester, one against Tippecanoe New Valley, so it's going to stay fourth down and or third down and fourteen. Holy cow! How do you t call that? There wasn't a Valley player in the, in, well, and in I, sight. Maybe it was something else. Maybe maybe it wasn't Jackson. It had to have been something else. Well, yeah, obviously. So fourth, uh, third down and fourteen for the Zebras. A minute fifty-four to play in the first half. Rochester up fourteen to seven. This will be an interesting call, and you can almost guarantee if it's a run, Coach Moriarty will use a timeout. Yeah, yeah. neither team wants a, wants a game-changing mistake here at this situation. Ball in the middle of the field. Johnson split right, Wood split left. Bryce Abbott is your lone back. Brady Perez under center on third and 14. Back to pass. Looks near side. Looks over the middle. He's got Plummer. He is complete, and then he loses the football, and it will be incomplete. Fourth down. Well, Plummer had a great, a great job. He actually caught the football and took a step, maybe a step and a half, and then dropped the ball. Rochester's um, Johnson right there to, to recover the fumble if it had been. So fourth down and about 14 for the Zebras, and Brady Perez on to kick. And the Vikings back deep at about their 35-yard line. That Parker, who is that? We'll have to get that number. Perez gets it away. Another high kick into the wind. Miller gives chase on the near side. Takes a Rochester bounce inside the 30. And will come to rest at about the 27-yard line. Good kick for Brady Perez. Perez has had about as much to do with field position in this football game as yeah. any other any, anybody else on the field. Another 44-yard punt for Perez. So first and 10 for the Vikings. I believe they've got two timeouts left. With 100 seconds to play in the first half, the Zebras are up 14 to seven. Trapeating the Vikings, going with the wind here. They'll send Randall wide to the left side. Gaff and Parker also wide to the left side. Out of the pistol formation is Trapiti. Here's the snap, Trapiti rolls to the left side. He's gonna be hit as he throws, throws it down the Tipping New Valley sideline, intended for Randall, incomplete. A lot of pressure in the backfield by, for Rochester, Gilbreth and Dalton. Forcing Trapiti to throw it sooner than he wanted to. He had an open receiver, but 
he was more just throwing it out of bounds as he was throwing yeah. it to anybody to catch. He was being hit as he was being thrown. Right. Rochester's getting some pretty good pressure, I believe. Uh, it was Gilbert and Dalton. Okay. Yeah. Second down and 10 for the Vikings. 15 on the play clock. Randall goes split to the left side. Two receivers to the near. One to the near side, including Shepard as a tight end. Eye back formation. Trapiti hands off to the fullback in Melanson. And Melanson may be a yard. It'll be third down at about nine with a minute 25 to play in the first half. Gilbra Sutton and Abbott on the stop. Rochester up 14 to seven. The Vikings looking at third down and nine. And now Rochester will use their second timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to High School Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Twenty-six seconds, make that twenty-four point six to play in the first half. And the reason why there wasn't a flag, the official said that was uncatchable. Oh. Yeah, you mean the Yep. Thirty-one yard line of the Vikings are the Zebras. Second and ten. Johnson goes split right, Wood split left. Perez, back to pass. Looks right. Looks left, here comes some pressure, rolls away from the pressure, sets up, throws it downfield to Corbin Wood, who is open, and it throws it out of bounds. Thank you, Mr. Wind. Yeah, Perez had a lot of time to throw it, but he kept backpedaling away from the defense, and he finally just decided to throw it in Woods' direction, and the wind took it out of bounds. Well, let's see. We're at the 31-yard line. This would be uh, about a 48-yarder from here, 47-yarder from yes, here. I still would feel confident in putting him out there to kick it, but you're starting to stretch it a little. The and you're in, and you're in with the wind, yeah. you're starting to stretch the we'll accuracy. be kicking into the wind. Yeah. Third and 10 for the Zebras at the Vikings 31-yard line with 16.8 to play just, in the half. Just need to send Jackson underneath like we did before. Right on. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Perez back to pass. Here comes some pressure. Throws left. Has Wood complete. Wood stops. Back inside of the 20, the 15, back inside of the 10. 
Looking for the sideline, runs out of bounds inside the five to around the four with 8.3 to play in the first half. First and goal, Zebras. That was all Corbin Wood as he caught that ball about six yards downfield and then made defenders miss as he run until he ran out of sideline. Knox and Pioneer tied at seven late in the first quarter. First and goal for the Zebras at the four yard line. They've got time for maybe one, maybe two plays. One for sure, maybe two. 8.3 to play. In the first half, Corbin Wood ran out of bounds, so the clock has stopped. Rochester first and goal from the four, leading 14 to seven with eight seconds to play in the first half. Perez under center with five on the play clock. Takes a snap, back to pass, looks left, looking for Corbin Wood in the back of the end zone. It is incomplete, we got a pass interference. How was that not <laughs> uncatchable? Oh my God. That one is more uncatchable than the Jerry Plummer pass was. Well, probably so, yeah. He threw it to the back of the end zone, and when Corbin turned, he ran face-to-face -face right into the Valley defender right at the goal line. And 5.6. What are we doing? Bryce Ball Abbott. Bryce, the, yep, Bryce Abbott, Bryce Abbott, I think. At the two-yard line, I believe Rochester Valley has a timeout. Yes. Has one timeout. Five seconds to play in the first half. Rochester with one timeout. If they run this, they're going to have to call right away. Yeah. Get on it right away from the two-yard line. Wood, Abbott, and Jackson in the backfield from the two. Brady Perez takes a snap, gives to Abbott over the left side. Touchdown, Zebras! With three seconds to play in the first half. Bryce Abbott gets his second touchdown of this football game, this time from two yards out. As we are, yeah, close to the halftime. That's gonna, that could be a huge game That's a big changer. One. 20 to seven, the extra point coming for the Zebras. Duff on, Drew Sailor's your holder. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away, and it is good. 21-7 Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Three seconds to play in the first half. It's a squib right down the middle of the field, picked up by the Vikings. And this should do it for first half. As soon as we tackle As the return man <laughs> is finally brought down uh, outside the 35-yard line. It's halftime. The Rochester Zebras lead the tipping New Valley Vikings 21-7. First half stats in the week that was. Coming up next, 92.1 WROI. And to that effect, Rochester's defense, I think, has done an equally good job of keeping them from scoring with that. You have some scores from around the area? Yeah. Uh, Knox Pioneer still tied at 7. Uh, Culver leads Caston 21-15. Winnemac leads West Central 22 to 6. Manchester over Whitco 20 to nothing. North Miami over Wabash 17 to nothing. And uh, Southwood leading Peru 31 to 6. And I think that's going to answer one of the questions we had before this game. Short end over and kick for Duff. Bounces around. Potter having a rough time and picks it up inside his 20 yard line. About the 16, I think, 17 maybe. Wow, that was dangerous. Yeah, Rochester was. and Taylor Johnson just about fell on that kick. So before the game, we were questioning who would win the South Division. North Miami, Peru, Southwood could all conceivably come up tied. But with Southwood and Peru playing tonight, Southwood looks like they're going to get that win. Yep. That knocks Peru out of that equation. It could come down to Southwood and North Miami as North Miami will take on Peru next week. North Miami would get the nod if there's a tie because they beat Southwood head-to-head. Yeah, head. Right. First and 10 for the Vikings at their own 17-yard line, ball in the near hash. Morrison dots the eye behind Trapiti. Trapiti gives to Morrison? Melanson, I believe. Melanson. It was. West Melanson with the carry over the 20-yard line to about the 22. Picks up about five yards. It'll be second down and five for the Vikings. Tibby Valley had a lot of success. At the interception. Second and five for the Vikings at the 22. On the option, Trapiti keeps, flips it out to Morrison. Morrison caught in the backfield, trying to run away from the defense, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds after a loss of about uh, two or three yards. Rochester, really good job of defending that as uh, Walker took Trapiti down on the option. Going to lose two, did Morrison. It's going to bring up third down and about eight for the Vikings back at their 20-yard line. 21-7, to Rochester leading early in the second half. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 
Randall comes wide to the near side. High back formation for Trapiti. Morrison in the tailback position on third and eight. Trapiti fakes the handoff, reverse. or fakes the uh, pitch, a reverse under, yeah, the handoff underneath to Miller. Miller takes it to about the 23-yard line. Maybe the 22, it'll be fourth and five. Wilson Dalton on the stop, and Coach Moriarty brings on the punting unit. And Morrison will slide back to about his 10-yard line, and Johnson and Corbin Wood back to receive this punt. Both of these young men, Johnson and Wood, very dangerous back here if they can get their hands on the yeah, ball at kidding. a full speed. Morrison to kick from about his 10. Good snap, no pressure. Left-footed kick. Corbin Wood lets it bounce. It takes a Rochester bounce and will come to rest inside the 45-yard line at about the 43. Really? And Coach Hooker is looking at Co Corbin Wood saying, what are we doing? We had the blocking uh, set up. Let's roll. Three yard line leading 21 to 7. Ball on the far hash, the tipping New Valley sideline. 10 minutes to play in the third. Johnson comes wide to the near side. Flanker to the left is Wood. The fullback is Abbott. Two tight ends for Rochester, one to each side. Johnson comes. Oh, oh we have oh, two guys two. moving at once. Yep, that's, that's a no no. Go. That's going to be uh, Corbin Wood is caught in the backfield, and we have another flag on top of that. A late so flag. it's going to be illegal motion on the Zebras and probably a hold on the Zebras as well. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, I believe, but we're going backwards here. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Like Are we going to have a face mask? We got, a, we got two guys in motion for Rochester, which is a five-yard penalty, but then if they call a face mask, that's more than likely on Valley, which will give us a 10-yard gain. Unless it's incidental, it's a five, so it's a, it's a wash. Off, be an offset, yeah. So the officials trying Meeting to of the mines in the yeah, middle of the field. Trying to sort it out. So we're going to have legal motion on the Zebras. Legal motion we're going to have a face mask on the Vikings. Right. The penalties will offset, and we'll do it again, first okay. and ten. Do over. Let's not run that play again. Well, you were talking golf coming up, so this is Mulligan. Mulligan? Mulligan. Good call. You do listen sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. I'll be doggone. So first and 10 for the Zs. We'll start over. First and 10 of their own, 43, ball in the far hash. Jackson comes in motion to the near side. Looks, looks familiar to what we saw just a little bit ago. Wood split left. Back to pass is per Perez. Has oh. Jackson and right through his hands. Incomplete. It'll be second and 10. Had him he open. He had him open, yep. yep. All Jackson had to do was grab that, bring it to his belly, but falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Almost looked like Jackson didn't expect uh, Perez to throw the ball his way. Like maybe he thought maybe he's going to throw it the other side to Wood, but as soon as Jackson turned a corner on his route, the ball was right there, and he got his hands up. And he was wide open. Yeah. Second and ten at the 43. Rochester on the ball with 20 on the play clock. Johnson back into the game. Wood and uh, Abbott back there as well. Brady Perez under center on second and 10. Johnson goes in motion left. Fakes to him. Hand off underneath to Abbott. Bryce Abbott at the 45. Spun around the 46. Trying to push his way to the 47. Uh, the spot on the far side says the 47. Give him about four. It'll be third down and six at the Rochester 47-yard line with nine and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Yeah, Rochester hasn't uh, exactly been tearing up uh, – the field here tonight running the football. No, that's right. They've only got 59 total yards of rushing, but uh, they've been very opportunistic on their yeah. passing. They've had some really big pass plays that have Valley D doing, doing, a, doing a good job yeah. controlling the line of scrimmage. You're right. Third and six. Three, tri three receivers on the left side. Here comes the pitch to Bryce Abbott. There it is. Going left. Bryce Abbott. Call from behind, pushing away. For the second ever gets him a first down as he carries it inside the Valley, 45 to the 44. Nice job by Bryce Abbott, and that was all Abbott as he managed to pick up four yards before contact was made, and then the other uh, six yards after contact. Yeah, that would he he was stopped about a yard to go before the first down, and the second effort gets him across the Valley, 45 to the 43. First and ten zebras, 8:50 to play in the third quarter. Rochester quickly on the ball with 18 on the play clock. Johnson, Wood, and now standing up on the near side is Dalton. Perez, here's the snap. Abbott Pitches again. out to Abbott. Abbott with blockers, gets to the line of scrimmage, and spun down. 
That's the first time all year that Rochester has ra basically ran the same play but to the uh, opposite side. You're right. We talked about that in the days of old. Yeah. Again, looking more like old school <laughs> Rochester Valley football. Second down and 10 after a new yard gain by Bryce Sabat. Again, the ball is spotted at the Tipping New Valley 43-yard line. Rochester leading 21-7 with 8-10 to play in the third quarter. Rochester on the ball. Jackson, Wood, and Abbott in the backfield. Dalton tight right, Plummer tight left. Brady Perez under center on second and 10. Jackson goes in motion left. He gets the pitch. He's got blockers. Cuts it back inside. Jackson still on his feet. Falls across the 40, down to around the 38-yard line. Make it the 39. Give him four yards on the pickup. It'll be fourth down, or make that third down and six. And now we have a flag wow. on the play. Again, as, as players it, are running off and going back to the huddles, we get a flag. That official standing in the Valley defensive huddle, and that's where the flag came from. So we're going to have an unsportsmanlike conduct whistled against the Vikings and an unsportsmanlike conduct whistled against the Zebras. It'll be third down and six for the Rochester Zebras at the Valley 39-yard line. Well, you know, the officials, every time there's an unsportsmanlike conduct, they write the, the, the perpetrator's number down. Perpetrator? Yeah, there huh. you go. Uh -huh. And if they get, if, if, if you're guilty of two unsportsmanlike penalties, you're gone. And coming off the field there is Bando, Devin Bando for the Vikings. So you got to wonder if, we're just speculating, we're not sure. But after the offsetting penalties, Rochester has it third and six at the Vikings 39. Brady Perez under center. Back to pass. Looks right. Three-step drop. Has Johnson complete. Johnson spun around before he can get to the 30-yard line, but he's really close to the uh, sticks and the yard to gain. And the, the official spot right here is at about the 33. That's going to be close. The official says it's going to be just shy. It'll be fourth down. And... A foot or two for the Zebras. The ball just shy of the Viking 33-yard line. Might see a heavy dose of Bryce Abbott. Here. Why not? Short, fourth and short. Fourth and less than a yard for the Zebras. Jackson, Wood, and Abbott in the backfield. Brady Perez under center. Ball to the Viking 33. Abbott, carry, first down to the 30. Still Pulls moving. The Vikings inside the 30, down to around the 27. Give him six yards and a zebra first down. Big push by Bryce Abbott. Big strong run. So he just got those legs a churning. Giving the 28 yard line a five yard gain. Sorry, Brad. Rochester on the near hash at the Viking 28 yard line, leading 21 to 7. Johnson brings a play in from the sideline. The zebras break the huddle with 20 on the play clock. Johnson, Abbott, Wood. Right to left for the zebras. Inside the Valley 30, and Rochester uh, is going to move. Yep. And there's the false start, so back two, him up five. Two guys moving again. It'll be first and 15. Rochester's been penalized eight times for 70 yards in this football game. First and 15 for the Zebras. But they've only committed one turnover. I'm sorry, say that again. <laughs> They've had eight penalties for 70 yards. The Vikings? No, Rochester. Rochester? Yeah. Okay. Well, how many have, have Tipping New Valley had? That's got to be close to being even. No, they've only had four penalties okay. for 45. Apparently not watching the same game. First and 15. <laughs> Perez under center. Jackson goes in motion left. He gets the pitch. Jackson with blockers. Up the field. Jackson right in the middle of the field. It's a 20. Still on the The 15 and the 10 and spun down around the Valley eight-yard line. Great job by Jackson. He had enough, just enough blockers in front of him. I think Tippecanoe New Valley actually lost track of who had the football. And so it'll be first and goal for the Zebras at the eight with 5.50 to play in the third quarter. 25-yard gain by Tyzea Jackson. Zebras quickly on the football. Wood, the left wing back. Johnson, the right wing back. Bryce Abbott behind center. And now they'll go to a straight T backfield at two tight ends from the eight. Oh, nah. Perez, a hard count looking to get the Vikings to jump, but instead Wood. got Wood to jump. So Rochester will back up five yards. That'll bring up first down at 
goal at the 13-yard line as they mark off the uh, illegal motion penalty. Corbin Wood will come off the field, and uh, Coach Hooker will have a conversation with him as he comes off. So that will bring up first down and goal from the 15-yard line. Now from the 12, actually. And, and Jackson fumble. loses the football, the ball is loose, and the Vikings get it. Boy, those last two plays were awful for the Zebras. So Coach Hooker, unhappy with Corbin Wood for jumping, takes him out of the game, and on the ensuing handoff, the Rochester Zebras fumble. Their second turnover in this football game. And now Tippecanoe Valley, 89 yeah. yards away to see if they can capitalize. So they take over after the Isaiah Jackson fumble at their own 16-yard line. The Vikings uh, trail the Zebras 21-7. Randall goes wide to the right side. Two other receivers wide to the right for Trapini, who's in the uh, shotgun formation. Melanson to his right. Trapini rolls to the right, throws to the right. It is complete. Out to Randall. And Jackson is going to stop him, uh, stop his forward progress after about a seven or eight yard gain. So again, back to those short passes to the flats where they had success in the first quarter. And that one was successful as well for about eight yards. Ball spotted at the Tipping New Valley 24 yard line. Second down and two for the Vikings. Ball in the far hash, which is the Valley sideline. Miller and Randall come wide to the near side. Power eye offset left for the Vikings. Torpedi in the pistol formation. Torpedi takes a snap, gives off to Parker right up the middle. Cam Parker lowers his head and gets out to the Valley 45-yard line. Picked up about 21 yards before uh, he was had 20 yards before he was touched. Yeah. Rochester lucky to bring him down. He's a big, fast runner. First and 10 for the Vikings at their own 45-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. Big hole in the middle of that offensive You're not kidding. Uh, defensive line. Shepard comes tight to the right side. Miller and Randall go wide right. Torpedi out of the pistol formation. Here's a snap. Gives off to Parker again, right side. Parker, ground in the backfield and dropped. Tyler Walker there to hit him. Very little gain. It'll be third, uh, second down and long for the Vikings at their 45. Give him nothing. Yep. It'll be second and 10. Nice job by Walker. Clock rolls here at Rochester High School. Under four minutes to play in the third quarter. The Zebra's up 21-7. Valley will break the huddle with 15 on the play clock. They'll send Miller wide to the right. Boy, there is mass confusion out yeah. there for the Vikings. They have trips to the right with five on the play clock. Parker comes in motion to the near side. Torpedi rolls on the near side. Has Parker in the flat. It is complete. Makes Jackson uh, Johnson miss, and Corbin Wood brings him down. Shy of the Rochester 45. Yeah, I would say not until they pick up another eight, nine yards on the play. It'll be third down and about uh, a long one, a short two, as the ball spotted the Rochester 46-yard line. Torpedi looking to the sideline for the call. Looks at his wristband and relays it to the huddle. Three minutes to play in the third quarter. Third and one for the Vikings. Parker dots the eye. Torpedi under center. He takes it right up the middle, and Ooh. he is going to be stopped shy of the 45. He didn't get there. It's I gonna think be... he slipped when he tried to, as soon as he tried to push forward. I think he slipped. Nothing there. It'll be fourth and goal. Or, I'm sorry, fourth and one at the 46-yard line. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he had the first down but slipped yeah. trying to get that last push. Yep. Coach Moriarty said, you had us on the 45. The other guy on the near side had us on the 46. That's a first down from my perspective <laughs> right. or vantage point well, over there. I think because Trapiti slipped on his first move, his knee touched the ground before contact was made. Fourth and one for the Vikings at the Rochester 46. They're in the pistol formation. Trapiti takes a snap. Gives off to Parker. He's got a first down. Cam Parker inside the Rochester 40 to the 39. Tyler Walker in the tackle for the Zebras. Another seven yards for Parker. First and 10 for the Vikings. Rochester up 21 to 7 with under two minutes to play in the third quarter. And you're seeing a momentum shift after Rochester's yep. uh, turnover down in the, in the 
typical New Valley Red zone. side of the field, yeah. Randall, Gaff, and also Parker wide to the right side. Melanson to the right of Trapedes in the shotgun. Second and 10, Trapedes rolls to the right, looking to throw right. He's got a receiver in the flat, and it's complete. It's Randall, slips down right at the sticks. And it's going to be a first down for the Vikings on an 11-yard pitch and catch from Trapedi to Randall. And again, it's those little out passes the into the flats. I was going to say, the flat has been open all night. They were, they were successful with it in the first half. They went away from it for about a quarter and a half there in the second quarter. And they've come back to it, and it's worked. First and 10 for the Vikings at the Rochester 28-yard line. Trapedi in the pistol. Takes a snap. Gives to Parker off the left side. Parker runs into his own guy, spins away from the zebra tackler, takes it to the 25, and then push backwards. Give him three. It'll be second and seven. We're down to 60 seconds to play in the third quarter. Again, Rochester leading 21-7. Brandon Sutton with the tackle for the zebras. Second down and seven for the Vikings of the Rochester 25. Randall goes split left. Uh, Shepard is tight to the right. The flanker to the right side looks like his gaff. Parker dots the eye. Trapedi under center on second and seven. Gives to the fullback off the right side. And that's Jace Potter. Not a lot there. Stopped. I think he's going to lose a yard. Back to the 26. Stopped by Gilbreth. Oh, Graham on the stop. Third down and eight for the Vikings. Back to the Rochester 26-yard line. Under 20 seconds to play. In the third quarter, the Vikings do not have to run under the play if they don't want. They are in the huddle. There's about a five-second differential. They'll break the huddle with 10 on the play, uh, game clock. Potter to the left of Trapedi on third and eight. Trapedi, high snap, brings it down, rolls on the near side, looking into the flat. It is incomplete. Great job by Taylor Johnson. Closing the gap quickly. It'll be third and eight, and that'll do it for the third quarter at Rochester High School. After three, the Zebras lead 21-7. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Back at Rochester High School, start the fourth quarter. It's fourth down and eight for the Vikings at the Rochester 26-yard line. Well, not, you know, to state the obvious, a big play here for Rochester's defense on fourth down and eight. Uh, deep in their own territory after failing to score on their last possession when they were in the Valley yeah. red zone. Number four in the flat has worked all night for Vi yeah, the Vi Vikings. Right. Fourth and eight. Snap. Parker back to pass. Looking to the near side. He's got a receiver. He throws it out of bounds. Rochester will take over on downs. You can thank Tyler Walker and, and uh, Wilson Dalton for pressuring Trapedi. Yeah, a lot of good pressure in the backfield. They had uh, Walker right in Trapedi's face. He had to throw it off his back foot, throw it high in the air. And uh, unfortunately, the wind caught yep. it from behind yep. and pushed it out of bounds. So Rochester survives a push there by Valley. They really had things rolling their way until just the last couple of plays. And that, that drive was because of the Rochester fumble at about the 16-yard line. Right, yeah, Rochester drove deep within rallies, within the red zone before they turned it over on their last possession. First and 10 for the Z's at their own 26. Wood goes in motion right. He gets the pitch. Corbin picking away through traffic. Pushing the pile ahead. He's going to be cut down shy of the 30-yard line. The spot on the near side says the 29. Give him three. It'll be second and seven. And right now, Rochester wanting to work as much of that clock as they possibly Absolutely. can. Absolutely. But at the same time, they've got to be thinking about picking up. Oh, you got to get three or four first downs, I think, on this drive to run off 11 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'd say at least. Yeah, 11 minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Second and uh, seven for the Zebras, shy of their own 30. Perez under center. Jackson comes in motion to the near side, fakes a pitch to him, goes underneath to Bryce Abbott. Bryce Abbott carries across the 30 to the 31. A pickup of two. It'll be third and five for the Z's at their own 31-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Taylor Johnson brings a play in from the sideline. I like Taylor Johnson, just a junior, 5'9", 160 pounds. He is speedy. He we've, is fast. I agree. We've seen him in the back on the on punt returns and kick returns. Third and five. Johnson now over here on the near side. Jerry Plummer stands up as a tight end from the 31. Brady Perez under center. Flips out to Bray, uh, Bryce Abbott. Abbott, patient, picking his way through the uh, defense. Gets it out to the 35 as the Vikings held onto his face mask and brought him down. No call. It'll be fourth down and about one 
for the Zebras and more than likely a punting situation for Rochester. Fourth and one for the uh, Zebras at the Rochester 35. Well, we don't like know. Well, I'm, we don't know because Brady Perez, Perez is, is the, the punter. punter. You're yeah. right, but I'm thinking you got a lot of confidence in Bryce Abbott. You just give him the ball and tell him to get me a yard. The play does come in from the sideline. Rochester will be on the ball with 10 on the play clock. Fourth and one for Rochester at their own 35-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Brady Perez under center with six on the play clock. Gives to Bryce Abbott over the left side. Bryce Abbott is really close really to close. the stick to gain. Boy, I don't know if he got that or not. Well, the far side shows that he did. The yeah, near that, side may be a different story. They're going to give it to him. They're going to give it to him. Woo, baby, that was close. Yeah, it was. He just got a yard, giving him the 42 as the nose sits right on the 42, I'm sorry, the 37-yard line, first and 10 for the Zebras. 9.35 to play in the football game. Rochester leading 21-7. to seven. Fresh set of downs for Rochester. They're on the ball with 15 on the play clock. Wood, Johnson, and Abbott in the backfield. Wood goes in motion right. And yeah. now we're going to have a encroachment on off sides on the, Ze or on the uh, Vikings. Yep. So it'll be first and five for Rochester. At the Viking, I'm sorry, at the uh, Zebra 42. Nine and a half minutes to play in the game. The bell is on the line here at Rochester High School. Brady Perez under center on first and five. Wood goes in motion right, gets the pitch right up the middle. Corbin Wood at the 45, pushing the pile ahead, still on his feet, and is uh, going to be tackled at about the 48, 49 yard line. That'll be enough for a zebra first down. Give him seven to move the chains. Give him the 49. By, good job by Corbin Wood and the entire Rochester offensive line as they just kind of created a big, big ball and pushed forward. 9.20 to play in the football game. Rochester up 21-7 and a fresh set of downs at their own 49. Wood, Jackson, Abbott in the backfield. Plummer tight left, Dalton tight right. Jackson comes in motion to the near side, fakes the handoff. Brady Perez rolls right, looking to throw. He's got Plummer wide open underneath, but goes for the long ball. And Wood, it is complete. Corbin Wood looking for the end zone. Just the Zebras. 51-yard pass play from Brady Perez to Corbin Wood, and the Zebras strike again. Nice job by the Rochester offensive line as they were able to give Perez all the time in the world as he rolled out to his right. He had two receivers downfield. He chose the deepest one in Corbin Wood and hit him right in stride yep. as Corbin had about two steps on the defender. Brady Perez with a great pass. Corbin Wood with a good route and a good catch and outran the defender into the end zone. 27 to 7, the extra point coming from Zane Duff. Sailors the holder. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. And it sails. Wow. Oh, it's good. Just snuck in the left upright. 28 7, Rochester. You're listening to high school football. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Inside is 10. Duff, end over end kick. Goes over the front man he uh, head. And then goes out of bounds. At the nine, maybe the eight-yard line, off the hands yeah. of Gaff, I believe, and it goes out of bounds at the nine. Great position, field position for Rochester as they uh, going to get Valley inside their ten-yard line. Eight forty-nine to play in the football game. Rochester leading twenty-eight to seven, and the Vikings will take over on this series inside their ten, going to our right with the wind. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Pioneer leads Knox at the break, 14 to seven. Yeah, that one's a tight one. Manchester 34 to seven over Whitco. Manchester yep. leads Whitco 30, 34 to seven. We are on the road next week at Manchester to face the Squires. North Miami 34 to nothing over Wabash. Oh, wow. North Miami leading 34 nothing over Wabash. Parker is in the backfield along with Potter for the Vikings. Parker takes it off the left side, gets away from uh, Bryce Abbott, who hit him at about the six-yard line. Parker lucky enough to get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be no gain. It'll be second and ten. Sutton on the stop for Rochester. Eight and a half to play in the game. 
Second down and 10 for the Vikings. Torpedi relays the play. The Vikings break the huddle with 15 on the play clock. Boy, taking a long, lot of time. Long time, yep. the clock running. They'll send two receivers to the near side. Torpedi in the pistol formation. Parker behind him. Potter to his left. Miller goes in motion to the far side of the Valley sideline. On the pass, uh, Trapini out to the flat. It is going to be Intercepted. picked off. It is caught. Oh, out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. Brady Perez made a fantastic play on the far sideline, and the officials say he could not get a foot down. It will be incomplete, and it will be third and ten. Woo. What an athletic effort there by Brady yeah, Perez. Was. He had to go down low to the ground to get underneath that football. It'll be third and ten for the Vikings at their nine-yard line with 7.54 to play in the game. The Vikings will send Randall and Miller wide to the near side. Parker also comes split to the left side. Pistol formation for Trapiti with Potter to his left. Trapiti rolls to the near side. Here comes some pressure, lets her fly, and throws it into the Rochester bench. It'll be fourth and ten. And you can Intended bet. for Miller. And I would guess Rochester going to send 10 people after this. Well, do you really want to do that? Up 28 to 7, do you want to rough the punter? Well, no, but I definitely want to put some pressure on him yep. and keep keep them from releasing anybody downfield. Yep. Okay. Give uh, who is this who's going to be back here, Johnson and Wood both. Yep. But it looks like they're going to back up and play it safe. So Morrison will kick about five yards deep in his end zone on fourth down. Oh, and the Zebras oh, jump. Out the and back of the end zone. Bad snap. Picked up by Morrison looking to get out of the end zone. He's going to punt it. He does so. I don't know how. It takes the valley bounce. Picked up by Wood. Wood looking to outrun the defense to the far side. And then he's tripped up at his 30-yard line. That ball rolled wow. around the back of the end zone. Morrison did a fantastic job Just getting picking that up, running to the Rochester sideline, and rugby-style kicked it and got it away. Yeah. What a great athletic effort well, by Morrison. He, good thing he did. He saved them about 25 yards. Possibly, well, he saved them, first of all, he saved them from getting a touchdown. Then he saved them from having a safety. And then he picked up about 25 yards on the kick. So, so uh, Corbin Wood tried to outrun the defense to the uh, right side of the field but the Vikings tripped him up at the at their 36 yard line first and 10 736 to play in the game Rochester up 28 to 7 and back on the football in first and 10 Perez back to uh, with a snap hands off to Corbin Wood Corbin fights his way through traffic and takes it to about the 25 yard line Picks up about five. It'll be second and five. Winnemac leads West Central in the third quarter, 30 to six. Second and five for the Zebras at the Rochester 20. I'm sorry, at the Tippecanoe Valley 26. Seven minutes to play in the game. Jackson's in there at the right wing back. Would uh, make that Riston. Nope. Toronto. Left wing back. Jackson goes in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch coming to the near side. He's got some blockers. Jackson cuts it upfield. Grabbed at the 25 and ripped backwards. Nothing there. Yeah, a yard. It'll be third down and about four. Clock rolls with 6.40 to play in the game. Rochester up 28 to 7. Ball still sitting on the 25-yard line. Nick Allen, a sophomore, brings a play in from the sideline. Brady Perez is out, and I believe Drew Sailors will be your new quarterback. Nope, I beg your pardon. That's going to be Nick Allen, the new quarterback for the Zebras. Allen to Abbott, right side. Bryce Abbott, second effort Still off the right speed. side, inside the 20, down to around the 19. It's going to be shy of a first down, but it's going to be fourth and close. Uh, f nope. That is going to be enough for a first down. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Six-yard run by Abbott. Give him uh, the 19. It'll be first down. And we got some new faces in the game for the Rochester Zebras. Nick Allen, a Five. sophomore quarterback, 5'9", 146 yep. pounds. Yep. Weaver's in at a tackle. Jerry Plummer's still in there. He'll take his uh, wide receiver or uh, tight end position to the left. Toronto left wing back. Jackson the right wing back. Matt Lee's now your fullback for the Zebras. 
Allen under center with three on the play clock. Here's a snap. Flips it out to Lee's going to the left. Lee's got some ad- room. Lee's down the left side. Cuts so it back inside. And flag, flag in the play. He gets in the end. No, he gets down to the one. But there is a flag in the play in the vicinity of probably a hold. Lee's did a great job. Blockers did a great job in front of him clearing the way. But there were two flags in the play. Ball, uh, the flag's thrown at the five. It is a holding. And Rochester going to commit a hold. And that will back him up from the five-yard line to about the 15 which should bring up third, uh, first down and four. Oh, I'm sorry, first down and six. No, no, they're going to take it back to the. To the they'll take it 18. back to the 18. So it'll be first and nine. First and nine with 5:20 to play in the game. Allen under center, least behind him. Taylor Johnson back in there. Stop the clock here. And the Vikings will take a timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Johnson is your right wing back. Uh, tight end to the right side looks like is uh, Drew Sailors. Tight end to the left side is still Jerry Plummer. Yep. We'll get First and nine for the Zs after the penalty that happened at about the five-yard line. Allen under center. Johnson comes in motion to the near side and gets the pitch. He's got some blockers. Johnson coming to the near side of the field and is, stays in bounds and brought down. Very little gain there for Johnson with 5-10 to play in the football game. Like in fact, he got a yard, yep. second and eight. I think Rochester's only concern right now is just to keep the clock Oh, running. absolutely. Yep, absolutely. And getting out here without anybody hurt. Right. Nick Allen gets the play from Jackson. Jackson lines up at the right wing back position. Again, Matt Leach, your fullback. Toronto left wing back. Allen under center with 10 on the play clock. On second and eight, Jackson comes in motion to the near side. He gets the pitch. Back inside now. At the 15, pushing the pile ahead to maybe the 14. Nope, giving the 15. Pickup of two. It'll be third down and six for the Rochester Zebras. Clock rolls with four and a half to play in the game. Rochester up 28 to seven. After three, Southwood leads Peru 48-22. Justin Riston brings a play in from the sideline. Toronto comes out. Rochester breaks the huddle with 10 on the play clock. Yeah, and now the Zebras. Timeout out because Jackson came in after they broke the huddle. So no, he's got a. We're, no, we gotta, we've got a uh, oh, blood maybe situation. Okay. The uh, official timeout. Yeah. Brendan Sutton's got to come out. And coming in for him is Ethan Dewald. Uh, six foot, two hundred forty-eight pound sophomore. He'll take his position on the right side of the line. Well, that was probably a lucky break for Rochester because Jackson came off. The oh side yeah, it was a mess after the huddle yeah. broke. Yeah, which is not allowed. Third down and six for the Zebras. Riston goes in motion to the right side. Here's a pitch to Lease. Oh, Lease looking to holding. get outside. Yep, we're going to hold. It's going to be declined. I would get maybe not. It'll be uh, no gain on the play. In fact, they're going to back him up a yard. It'll be either fourth down and seven or third and about 16. And they're going to decline it. I think Coach Hooker's no, yelling. No, they're going to take They're going to take it, okay. I thought Coach Hooker turned around and, and uh, wanted the field goal unit on. Well, they're going to send it on anyway. Oh, we're going to kick it on. Huh. We're going to kick on third down and 16. Uh-huh. All right. So the line of scrimmage now is the Tippecanoe Valley 27-yard line. This is going to be a 44-yarder from the right hash. We're going to kick a field goal on third down. We're lining up to kick well, a field Hooker goal anyway. He's getting ready to call timeout. Yeah, Coach Hooker will use a timeout. We'll take a 30. He, You're well. listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. He'll line up the left, uh, left tailback. We don't have a fullback. Anybody want to be a fullback? Bryce Abbott will come in and be a fullback this time. Third and 17. 15 on the play clock. Drew Sailors under center with 10. Jackson comes in motion to the near side and gets the pitch. Jackson over the left side of the line. He takes it inside the 25 near the 23, and that's going to be fourth down. So actually a 24-yard line, so this is going to make it a 41-yard field goal attempt 
for Zane Duff into a slight wind. Well, I don't question the leg strength. I just question the accuracy. We're about to find out. Right. He's going to kick right in the middle of the field. And actually, it's going to be a 40-yarder from the 30-yard line. He's going to be kicking. Drew Sailors is the holder. Zane Duff to attempt a 40-yarder. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. Plenty of leg. Wow. Plenty of leg. Is it good? No good. No wide good. to the left. Wow. Plenty of leg. The wind pushed it wide to the left, and it will be first down for Tipping New Valley. It looked awful good, but, of course, it was 30 yards above the end of the oh, yeah. top of the On, on a calm post. night, that's through. Yeah. First and 10 for the Vikings at their own 20. Four-yard line now going to our right. Rochester up 28-7 to with 3.15 to play in the game. So Manchester defeats Whitco. Their first win of the year, right, yeah. Val? Second. Second. 34-17. We have Manchester next week on the road. First and 10 for the Vikings. At their own 20 Five yard line, 20 yard line at their own 20. Out of the shotgun formation is Trapiti. Rolls to the left. Here comes a pass. Throws to the flat. Complete on that far sideline. And I'm trying to get a number. Is that, say, 20? Is that Conley? Conley. Jaden Conley. Picked up about three, uh, seven yard, three yards, that is. It'll be second down at about seven. And the Zebras sending some new defensive players in. Matt Lee's coming out of the game. No Swingo coming in to play a linebacker position. Second and seven. Potter to the left. Uh, make that to the right of Torpedi and the shotgun. Torpedi back to pass. Rolls on the near side. Throws into the flat. It is complete to Randall. Randall grabbed and held up and tackled by B.J. Barnes. Three minutes to play in the game. It's going to be about, uh, what, seven yards for the first down? Takes it out to the his own 31-yard line. First and ten for the Vikings. Clock rolls with three minutes to play in the game. Rochester up 28-7. to seven. End of the game for the Zebras is Bailey Brown. A 5'8 sophomore for the Zebras. Trapiti in the pistol. Tough snap. He rolls to the left. He'll keep it around the left side. He's got a lot of room. He's going to outrun the defense to the sideline. He gets a uh, first down as he takes it out to about his 45-yard line. A pickup of about 14, 15 yards and another Viking first down. Waylon Haynes comes into the game for the Rochester Zebras. Wilson Dalton on the tackle there. Haynes is a sophomore, 5'5". And Wilson Dalton comes out of the game. He had a fantastic game. He did have a good game. Especially that open field tackle after the yeah. punt. Trapiti in the pistol. I make that in the shotgun. Potter to his left. On first and 10 from his 45. Trapiti back to pass. Looking left, throwing left. He's got a receiver. It's Randall down the field and overthrows him by two yards. It'll be second and ten with 2.21 to play in the game. Taylor Coles come into the game for the first time for the Rochester Zebras. Tyler Walker is done. He had a fantastic game. I would say the Rochester defense as a whole has played very well tonight. Second down and ten for the Vikings at their own 45-yard line. Rochester up 28-7. to seven. With 2.20 to play in the game, the Vikings will send trips to the near side. Trapiti in the shotgun on second and 10. Here's a snap, rolls to the near side, looking at some pressure, steps up, throws it back towards the middle of the field to Miller. He's got to complete. Miller then grabbed by the shirt tail and drug down, but not until he gets inside the Rochester 20-yard line. The touchdown saving tackle. Is that Landon Kelly? Yep. Landon Kelly brought Miller down inside the 20, giving the 17-yard line first and 10. A 38-yard pitch and catch from Torpedi to Miller. Clock rolls a two to play in the game. 
Rochester up 28 to seven. The Vikings knocking on the door. Randall goes wide to the left side for the Vikings. Also Miller goes split left. Power eye left for the uh, Vikings with Trapiti in the pistol formation. He hits the snap, Trapiti goes to the left. He's gonna keep, Trapiti. Left side, cuts it out to the sideline, looking to the uh, pylon, oh. and is grabbed right at the one-yard line by Kelly again. It'll be a pickup of 16 yards. It'll be first and goal for the Vikings at the one. Landon Kelly, I like him. Yep, doing a good job defensively. Landon Kelly is a 5'6 freshman for the Rochester Zebras. First and goal for the Vikings at the one with 90 seconds to play in the game. The bell will be coming back to the Zebras. Coming back to Rochester. Randall split left. And the slide to the right side is Miller. High backs for Trapiti with five on the play clock. Trapiti over the right side looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. And Trapiti off the right side. Gets the one yard scoring drive. Tanner Trapiti carried in from one yard out. And it's 28 to 13. They'll line up for the extra point. Miller to hold. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. And it is good. 28-14. The Zebras lead in the minute 18 to play in the game. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Side kick. It is an onside kick. And Wilson Dalton falls on it at the 48. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Ha has he, how many passes has he caught tonight? Wilson Dalton, just one? Just the one. Yeah. 73 yard touchdown. Average is, yeah. he, he's going to raise his average tonight. A little bit, yeah. Pioneer leads uh, Knox after 3, 20 to 7. Yeah, great game. Yeah, it is. First and 10 for the Z's at their own 49. I would say victory formation. Winnemack up late in the yeah. fourth quarter over West Central, 37 to six. Allen on the under center. He takes a snap, they run a play, and the Zebras get it to midfield with a minute 10 to play. Did you get that number? Nope, I have no idea who had that. A minute to play in the game. Rochester up 28-14. It's second down and nine at midfield. And Allen brings the club to the line of scrimmage. It's like You're, 31. Yep. Your fullback in the game now for Rochester is Jared Murray. So Allen takes a snap, and he'll take a knee, and that'll do it. 28 seconds to play in the game, and that will do it. Rochester is going to defeat the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings tonight and bring the bell back to Rochester. The final, 28-14. You're listening to High School Football, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4.
track by Pippi Canoe Valley. Thank you.